It felt like I was a part of a real-life spy movie. Here I was standing alone at a Swedish gas station, waiting for my assistant to arrive from Denmark, transporting five journalists in the back of a blacked-out minivan. Before entering the van, they had all signed non-disclosure agreements, turned off the GPS signal in their phone, wrapped them in aluminium foil and locked them in a metal box to keep our destination secret. As they picked me up and the interview started, the minivan turned around and drove back across the bridge to Denmark without anyone knowing. We were on the way to the Moon Mother, my troll number 100, a giant sculpture hidden deep in the woods and the location had to be kept secret at all costs. My name is Thomas Dambo. Okay. I'm an artist and an activist. My material, what I build everything with, is what everybody else calls trash. Over the last 10 years I've built trolls. A lot of trolls. 99 trolls. And as I approach my troll number 100, I wanted to make a worldwide treasure hunt. Because as we all know, trash is a treasure. We're gathered here today to have a talk about uh, how best to do the operation of hiding the number 100 troll. The location of my troll number 100 had to be kept secret. Otherwise it would be found before the treasure hunt had even started. So to avoid this, I constructed a decoy troll. A fake troll number 100 only made to create confusion. A group of Danish scouts helped me make 500 birdhouses that they hung from a road 500 meters through the dense forest to what I had made them believe was the real troll number 100 and they had sworn to me on scouts honor not to tell anyone. But the thing with secrets is that they tend to be spilled. So I knew the location would seep out somehow. And so it did. But that didn't matter, because while all this had happened, me and my crew had had time to construct the real troll number 100 in the other end of the forest while nobody was looking. <laughs> At this point, my wife questions my sanity, as I insisted making the project more and more complicated and wearing a disguise while walking into the forest so nobody could recognize me. Over the three weeks of constructing the sculpture, we moved in silence, walked in the shadows early in the morning, always making a different way in and out of the forest to avoid creating trails, and we had to use the same toilet as the animals. And transporting heavy things like the head, we used an Egyptian style of sled. When the troll was finished, we restored the natural landscape, Grass and leaves were laid down and branches and bushes were strategically placed to cover any remaining signs of our activity so nobody could see that we had ever been there. And while the real troll number 100 was being built, deep in the woods, hidden between a steep hill, a thorny wilderness and a swamp where nobody would ever find it or stumble upon it without solving my riddle. A riddle written in a secret troll alphabet in a big spiral in the cover of my book Trash Trolls and Treasure Hunt. The riddle held all the clues you would need to find the real troll number 100. But I still felt like it was too easy. So I made 99 plates, each engraved with a unique code. The plates were mounted on stones next to my first 99 trolls in 17 countries around the world. And only by finding these cones, typing them into the code breaker on my troll map and solving the riddle, the location for the troll number 100 would be revealed. Meanwhile, I had gotten a grant from the Burning Man Festival. And with this money, I had bought a lot of really, really big boulders. And under one of them, I had hidden the first clue of the riddle that reads, go where the spiral leads you home, and four big rings are made of stone. Go find the smallest stone you see, it will tell you where and when to be. This pointed to the smallest stone in the stone circle, and the clue then led you to the decoy troll. And so the riddle continued. But once you're there, you're not there yet, Look west and take a thousand steps. Remember what's around the neck and trace it through the forest depth. Because the decoy troll had a birdhouse necklace. And so you were led backwards through the birdhouse pass that the scouts had helped me hang up, back across the road, up into the deep end of the forest, where me and my crew had built the real troll number 100. Finally it was ready. And troll hunters around the world started collecting the coats from the metal plates. It only took them a few days before all 99 codes were collected and the riddle was released. And now people started collaborating on solving the riddle in different fan forums online. Analyzing the riddle and the crews, sending out search teams, and less than 48 hours later, the first photos started to appear online. My wife no longer thought I was crazy. My most secret troll to date, the troll number 100, the moon mother, had been found. So now it's time to go and see if you can find her yourself. You can use thomasdambo.com slash trollmap 
to find all my 100 trolls around the world. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Good luck troll hunting.